This is Matt Mayoko. I'm the 49ers insider for CSNBayArea.com, and you are tuned in to Warriors World TV Off the Court. Welcome to another episode of Warriors World TV Off the Court. I am Box Kev here with Matt Mayoko, 49ers insider expert. He's the one who knows everything. So we are here to discuss or to discuss the 2011 NFL Draft, which will take place this coming Thursday. Now, touching on the needs for the Niners, what do you see as the number one need? Well, the number one offseason need is quarterback. Right. But I think the number one draft need is uh cornerback mm-hmm. or outside linebacker. And the reason I, I separate that is because I can see the 49ers getting a cornerback or an outside linebacker in this draft, plugging him in the lineup and having them be an immediate contributor. I don't see them getting a quarterback in this draft and having them having that person be a starter year one. Right. So I think the, the quarterback that the 49ers get is going to be a, a developmental guy, a guy who maybe steps on the field uh, for the first time in 2012, mm-hmm. they're going to have to get that quarterback, address that need through free agency or a trade uh, after the draft. So that's why I think that the you, you look at the pass offense, you look at the pass defense. I think where the where the 49ers can make pay here and get a good player that helps them is in the pass defense side. Okay, so now let's 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 fast forward a little bit to Thursday. The Niners are sitting at seven. Um, who do you have? Let's let's quick mock track going up until the Niners pick real quick. Well, okay, right now at number one, I have Cam Newton going to the Panthers. Okay. And, uh, the Broncos, uh, De- uh, Marcel Darius. At three is Buffalo. I have them taking Von Miller, the outside linebacker. Four with the Bengals, A.J. Green. Now this is where it gets a little bit tricky. Five, the Cardinals. I've had them taking Blaine Gabbard. Mm-hmm. With my final, final mock draft, I'll probably <laughs> have them taking Patrick Peterson. And then you have the Ouch. Browns at six. Uh, the Browns at six could take another wide receiver. They could take Julio Jones. Mm-hmm. So, what I would, do you want me to reveal? I yeah. mean, r- right now, what I see the most likely scenario is Patrick Peterson's there. 49ers, take no questions down. asked, they take him. Okay. If Patrick Peterson is not there and if Vaughn Miller's not there, I think they're going to take Prince of Mucamara, the cornerback from Nebraska. I-, I see that being the most likely uh, scenario where the 49ers take a cornerback at number seven and it's Peterson's their first pick, and if he's not there, a Mucamara. All right, that just about does it. So now we're going to throw it over to Lucena, who is there with Paul Gutierrez, and they are going to speak about the Raiders draft preview. Preview. Check it out. Hey everyone, I'm Lucena Herrera with Warriors World TV Off the Court, and I'm here with Paul Gutierrez from Comcast Sports Bay Area. He covers the Oakland Raiders, and today we're going to talk about the draft for the Oakland Raiders. Okay, now Namdi Asamoa is kind of creating a buzz. People want him to stay. He's an unrestricted free agent this year. Do you see him staying or leaving? And if he leaves, where do you think he's going to go? Well, I, you know, if I was a betting man and I did go to UNLV, so I'll leave, let you figure that out on your own. But I, I would say that Namdi's days with the Raiders are probably gone, especially because of the huge contract they gave to Stanford Route. Um, they gave him top cornerback money, and, and a lot of fans see that that would have been a good contract to at least offer to Namdi to see if he would come back. Only way I think he comes back is if he comes back for a hometown discount because they're not going to pay him $10 million, $15 million. If somebody else throws him that money, then he's gone. The Raiders do not have a pick in the first round this year because they gave it away to New England. Um, do you see them at all? Last Because we know the Raiders like to do a lot of last-minute changes in the draft. Do you th- see them, if it's possible, to you know trade up? I think there is. There's a lot of rumblings going on. We actually just spoke with uh, Coach Hugh Jackson to talk about the Raiders' needs for the draft and everything, and he, and he didn't put it out of the question. Of course, you, you, why would he want to reveal that chip anyway? But, but yeah, I can see them moving up because a lot of the players that they actually have worked out are first-round talent type guys. So why would you even waste your time on those guys unless you had some plans on moving up? Um, by the same token, they're in a good situation because they've had a decent season. They're not in the top 10 picks, so they don't necessarily have to take the best player available. They can take for need, and that's the first time since 2002 the Raiders can say that in the draft. No, definitely. Okay, now, um, what are the need positions that the Raiders need this year? The first thing that pops into mind is the offensive line. They only have two starters, two returning starters still under contract. Um, Robert Gallery is gone. He's with the mainstay there at uh, left guard. And also in the secondary, with Nnamdi gone and potentially Michael Huff could be gone. Well, Nnamdi possibly gone. Um, but And they've been working out a lot of cornerbacks. So to me, it's the offensive line and the secondary that they really, really need to address. 
Okay, um, any word of any prospects that the Raiders are looking at that you know of right now? The name that keeps popping up to me is a cornerback by the name of Curtis Marsh, uh, Utah State. He's a, one of the typical kind of Raider guy, kind of under under the, the radar a little bit. Um, speed, fast, physically he's big like Namdi was, or Namdi is as a cornerback. Uh, he could be a guy that the Raiders might try and surprise some people. Thank you so much for being here with us. We definitely wish the Raiders all the best of luck this year in uh, the 2011 NFL Draft. Thank you so much, Paul. Thank you.